Today we're going to go over how to identify points on a number line, then you'll have a chance to practice. To start, here's a number line, and we could add some dashes. Now we're going to be looking for this point, but first we'll need to add some numbers. At the beginning, let's add a 10, then a 20, and at the end we'll put an 80, 90, 100. Now even though all the points are not marked, we can identify which they are. To do this, we have to realize that when you move from 10 to 20, what's happening is you're adding 10. We can also check on the other side. When you move from 80 to 90, you're also adding 10. And 90 to 100, still adding 10. So on this number line, what happens when you move over one dash? You just add 10 to your number. So even though they're not marked, we can move from the 20 and add 10. Now we're at 30. Then we can move from the 30, add another 10. We're at 40. And then we can move from the 40, add 10. Now we're at 50. And look, we made it to our arrow we can tell that this arrow was pointing at the number 50. Now let's practice one of these together. Let's look at a number line, put some dashes on it, and think about identifying this point. We'll know the first point is at 25, and then later on we'll get a 50, a 55, a 60, a 65, and a 70. Well, on this number line, what happens when you move one dash to the right? Well, you can see that when we move from 50 to 55, what's happening is we add 5. You can check again. When you move from 55 to 60, you're also adding 5. 60 to 65, adding 5. So on this number line, when you move one dash to the right, you add 5 to your number. Knowing this, what do you think happens when you move one dash the other way, to the left? Well, when you move the other way, you'll do the opposite. So instead of adding 5, we'll subtract 5. Now we're at the number 45. Now we can just keep doing this until we get to the point the arrow is pointing at. We can move one more dash to the left and subtract another 5. What number would we be at now? Well, 45 minus 5 is 40. And if we move one more dash to the left, we'd subtract another 5. Where are we now? Well, 40 minus 5 is 35. And so our arrow was pointing at the number 35. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Here's a number line with some dashes, and you're going to identify this point. The first dash is 10, the second is 12, the third is 14, and on the end we're going to have a 24, 26, 28. What number is the arrow pointing at? Well, on this number line, every time you moved one dash to the right, you added 2. To get from 10 to 12, you add 2. 12 to 14, add 2. 24 to 26, add 2. So we just had to add 2 until we got to our arrow. 14 plus 2 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20, and then we can find our arrow is pointing at the number 20. Now here's your last problem for today. On this number line, find what this arrow is pointing at. If the first number is 80, and at the end we have a 200, 220, 240, 260. Well, you had to realize that on this number line, moving one dash over meant you were adding 20. You could find that because to go from 200 to 220, you have to add 20. To move from 220 to 240, you add 20. 240 to 260, you're adding 20. So one way you could have found what the arrow was pointing at is started at the 80 and moved over one dash and added 20. Now you're at 100. Then you could have moved over again, added 20 more, now you're at 120. This arrow was pointing at 120. So from today, remember, you can find numbers on a number line by keeping track of how much bigger the number gets each dash and then just by counting.